Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame and some shorter term as well. We had an action-packed day. This price is factoring after hours. We actually closed around the 214.70, so less of a lower wick showing bulls buying the dip. But we lost all moving average support, big time pullback after breaking the high of yesterday by five pennies. And obviously the European fears, DB and the Euro banks causing a dump in our banks and certainly a chain reaction going on there. So we're looking at support, the low of today, 214.04, looking at 213.62 and 213.44. We're still maintaining these higher lows, and we've got a tightening pattern forming. I can draw this real quick. Should have drawn it before the video, but just seeing it very clearly now. So we've got this uptrend line here. and tighten that up, and then we've got a downtrend resistance line from back here. That's one way to put it. And with the high of the day rejected from there. So we can watch this wedge and see how we get a clear break from that level. If it doesn't occur tomorrow, it will likely occur within the next few days or in the first few days of next week. So keeping an eye on that pattern, the weekly time frame, we are rejecting from the 10-week moving average resistance again. The S&P 500, this is a third week in a row rejecting from that level. And we're staying in this channel between the middle Bollinger Band support of 212.22 and that 10-week resistance of 215.79. So we'll see if the bulls show up tomorrow to be able to break that level. But as of right now, looking like we're going to stay within this channel and we'll be watching it over the next couple of weeks for a nice clear break. Let's look at the hourly chart. Look at the dump and the 200 period hourly support. First dump held it, a little bounce attempt, lower low, bulls bought that dip in a big way, held it again, next candlestick again, this current candlestick closed with the close of today, but we're back above it now. And where we stand relative to this 200 period hourly level, it's currently 214.87. Where we are relative to this heading into tomorrow pre-market is going to be a very key level I watch because the low of the day yesterday bounced off that as well. So if that's resistance, I'm going to know to be looking bearish tomorrow. And on the five minute chart, let's get some of that action. So we'll get rid of the pre-market here, not relevant at this point. So the clear bearish dump obviously occurred when news hit. And once we hit a new low of the day, hopefully any bullish positions were stopped out. And the increase ramp up in volume showed the magnitude of the dump. We had a bear flag of a little short-term oversold bounce before rejecting and pulling back. We had the high originally on the bounce at 215.25, a lower high at 215.18, and then an increased bearish volume period again. Hit the low, bullish reversal, Dragonfly Doji confirmed. Big bounce, got over the exponential resistance, continued with solid bull volume for about 40 minutes. Once we broke 215.25, that let the bulls know that this bounce was for real and it wasn't just another lower high and a downtrend. So then the bulls showed up. We held this 20 period moving average support, defended that area and then could not hold it by the end of the day on a big dump in volume. So it was a very high volume day. A lot of that volume is attributed to the bulls. We're seeing about, let's say, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, about 13 million bullish volume shares here on this bounce. So have to keep in mind, a lot of the volume did belong to the bulls. But by the end of the day, with that dump, the bears were in control. So where we stand with relation to the 200 period hourly moving average tomorrow morning is going to have a big impact on my outlook for the day and as will that tightening channel tightening triangle wedge that i showed on the daily time frame so thanks for watching we'll check back in should be an exciting end to the month and end to the quarter i'll see you then